This video is going to be about empathetic people going in attack mode or being upset about the new supply, which can be other narcissists a lot of times, disrespecting, ignoring, not respecting boundaries, right? So the thing is this, you got to keep this in mind. Those new, I guess you would say flying monkeys or new supply or enablers, right? They're only able to do that, y'all, because the narcissist is disrespecting you first. And now the narcissist has followers and people that are willing to support them in doing it and helping them, okay? So just keep that in mind. Like a lot of times we want to get up. Well, let me go over to that narcissistic enabler that's helping my narcissist or narcissistic relative or sociopathic relative. Don't go over to them people house starting no trouble because keep this in mind. Your narcissistic relative, your narcissist relatives, your sociopathic relative, they over there at that house with the narcissist or the narcissistic enabler and that's where they want to be okay let them rot together because that's what they're going to be doing is rotting together just stay confident in what you've done and cut off these supply sources i mean a lot of times i'm not trying to be rude a lot of y'all paying for their cell phone buying their clothes you going over there paying the narcissist that they stand with. I mean, putting money in their pocket, y'all. Supporting runaways. Like, and I mean, I've gone through similar situations, right? Where you find yourself paying the person or donating money or helping the person that's helping the runaway right even if it's like a teenage situation or whatever i mean or it could be a person that should be turning themselves in to do one month of jail time and they have a warrant out for their arrest so instead of them turning themselves in and just getting that out of the way you want to support them for the next 20 years while they can't work because of that warrant because a lot of times family members have ended up taking care of somebody with a warrant for long, 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 long times. Many, many, many years, okay? So, you gotta think like this, right? Like I said, let them rot together, okay? We got so many empathic people that have ended up with criminal charges going over to these people houses and they never remember this those people that's disrespecting them and breaking boundaries and whatever they're doing they only can do that because that narcissist led that disrespect so what you got to do is this you got to make that narcissist or sociopath completely accountable for their actions, okay? Which means instead of just putting so much blame on those what they call helpers, enablers, or flying monkeys, you gotta put more of that blame on that narcissist and stop financially supporting it, y'all. Keep your money in your pocket. If you do donate or something, give a gift card. Because at the end of the day, the supply that you're offering, that narcissist or sociopath is usually supposed to be at your home to be receiving it. So when that narcissist or sociopath decides that they're big and bad enough to leave your home, and they're always leaving for something that's not permanent, y'all. That's where that let them rot together. Because especially when narcissists discard supply that are relatives right and in the long run these empathetic relatives 
limit the supply or don't give them any anymore at all. They discarded their family for some friends that's going to dump them off at the end anyway. Okay, so you got to remember that. So stop being so mad, especially when the new supply is a narcissist. Many times that relative of yours, whether they be a narcissist or just someone that's narcissistic, where they can't actually be diagnosed with it because they're narcissistic. So that means they have very little empathy, but they're not far gone enough where they could actually be diagnosed as a narcissist, right? A lot of times they will get supply that is a narcissist. And so that narcissist That new supply narcissist will be uh, pretty cruel to you, right? And I mean, you will know that that new supply is definitely not empathetic, right? And so that new supply, which will be a narcissist, will be pretty cruel to you. And so you will be highly upset. You know, you may wanna feel like arguing, debating, physically fighting, but you can't do that. You got to remember who the original predator is. None of that would be going on if it was not for your narcissist or sociopathic relative. They're the one that's keeping up all of that mess. They're the one that's pulled in the new supply, which is that narcissist that's now the new supply. Because sometimes their new supply is not empaths, y'all. A lot of times that new supply is another narcissist. And so it's going to be like a horror film. It's going to feel like that. Be grateful it ain't in your house no more. You don't have to deal with someone telling you when they coming in, when they ain't. And leaving your doors unlocked, cussing you out. You got one person at the house, one or two people that are working and trying to do something with their life and they being jumped on and cussed out. I mean, you gotta start finding you something else to do. You know, like for me, I'm on my walks, I'm doing my videos and I'm getting a lot of my thoughts and feelings out doing this. Find something else to do that's going to benefit you and not just that narcissist, if that makes sense. So anyway, Please um, like, share, and subscribe. And I appreciate y'all, and I love you so, so much. And again, I apologize for the morning nightmare video, but um, I got two in this morning for you. And so I'm so motivated because I appreciate the kind comments of subscribers and viewers that really are getting something from the content. And I'm only sharing with you some of what I went through, some of what I seen, and I'm just here and I'm credible to do it because I have the experience. I've seen so much. I've studied so much. I've went through so much and I can just break it down in real life examples, y'all, and let you know how this really works. You know, because a lot of times what I found is when I was subscribed to YouTubers and learning about narcissism also and coming into the awareness of now knowing what it is and what I went through in relationships, whether it be coworkers, I mean, you're going to have narcissist coworkers, managers. I mean, it's going to go pretty far, right? And so when I came into the awareness and consciousness of that, I had to remember this is just what that is and so I'm able to kind of break it down in the stories that I break it down in because I just got so much that's up under my belt that I know about okay so I can't just come here and say well oh they're just all angry and screaming I can break this down so move on and find something more positive to do with these situations because 
you got to remember who's leading that attack on you and that's that narcissist that you had to discard or they discarded you and that attack may feel pretty brutal and hurtful when they've gotten another narcissist to help them with their wickedness so stay away from their houses y'all I mean, ain't none of this worth no prison time. That narcissist ain't coming to visit you. Half of them ain't even got ID, okay? To be quiet as is kept, I mean, to be honest. You know, they don't even have their stuff together to where even if they wanted to visit you, they could really do it, y'all. So just keep up positive things like praying, exercising having fun with good friends i mean the lord's gonna send you people i mean for some of you consider moving out of state closer to where the main part or the big part of your family is i mean a lot of times you're living in places where it's just you and the narcissist but actually you have a big family in an entirely different state so some of you may consider relocating there's just so many other options. It rained yesterday, y'all. So if you see this ground kind of looking kind of wet looking, it's because it rained. So there will be um, so many options for you. Some of you may not want to move out of state closer to your other friends and family. You may just want to reside and stay where you're at. I mean, you may have a great, excellent job in the state that you're at. And if you move to another state, you won't um, be able to make it like you're making it now in the state that you're in. But some of you may want to move because the state you're in is too expensive. I mean, just, just look at your options, plan, and um, you got to start planning with those narcissists or that narcissist. It may be more than one sometimes. Sometimes it's just one. You got to start planning without that person in your life, okay? So anyway, I love y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so much.